Now we're going to demonstrate how to actually perform bag valve mask ventilation on a child patient. We're going to make sure we get the airway in the most optimal position possible so the air will flow in through the trachea, through the, both the nasal and oral pharynx airway. And then we're in a good position when kneeling or lying down like this to be able to watch for chest rise and fall to make sure we're getting good ventilations. We do not have supplemental oxygen, so the reservoir has been removed. We make sure that the mask is the right size for the patient. Now this uh, eight, nine year old patient uh, probably could utilize an adult size mask. If it seemed too big, we would simply flip it around the other way like we do for the infant. In this case, I think she's gonna be just fine for the adult technique. Now, remember we're going to perform the CE technique sealing it over the face of the patient, reaching under with the E fingers of the hand, grabbing the mandible of the patient, and pulling their jaw up into the mask. As we breathe for the patient, we check for chest rise and fall. We're going to breathe for the patient one breath every three seconds for an infant and child, and one every five to seven seconds for an adult. The importance is making sure that we have a good face shield seal on the face and that we're getting good chest rise and fall to make sure that we're optimizing our ventilations.